everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the fifth episode in my Wedding Bell series and it's all about the dress. So I recently purchased my wedding dress. I wanted to share with you guys some tips and some advice and then also my story and a little behind the scenes footage as well. So I hope that you guys really enjoy this. Okay, so before I started dress shopping, I really did my research um, I didn't want to go in there unprepared and not knowing what to expect, so I tried to prepare myself as much as I could. So I looked all over Pinterest and on Instagram and different wedding magazines to find dresses that I liked. So um, I kind of had it narrowed down that I really liked a mermaid style and I really liked lace. So I actually had like an album on my phone just of like wedding dresses that I could show the consultant when I was at the appointment. That way, just because sometimes it's hard to explain what you're thinking in your head. So if you can show pictures, it's always easier. So I definitely recommend doing that. Okay, so for my first dress appointment, I wanted to keep it pretty casual and laid back. I wanted everybody that wanted to come to be able to come, and I didn't want to feel too much pressure on this appointment either. So I tried to find a salon that was a little bit more laid back, like I said, someplace that kind of like let me look through the dresses and let my friends and family look through them. Um, I could bring a big group and it wasn't going to be overwhelming to the consultant. So. I went um, to a dress shop about 20 minutes from my hometown. You guys can see the footage here. It was really fun. I was able to bring, I think it was like eight to 10 people. Um, and I definitely recommend doing something like that for your first you know, trip trying on dresses because then there's no pressure on the appointment. Everybody in your bridal party feels included. Um, and then you get to try on dresses without worrying about you have to make a decision today. Um, and you can hear everybody's opinion. So that was really fun.
must be my once in a lifetime, in a lifetime. You must be my once in a lifetime. that were a little bit more serious where I was actually hoping to find the dress. So before I did that, I wanted to um, know exactly what I was looking for. So I would go on the Knot website and like Wedding Bee website and look at reviews for different bridal shops in my area um, and make sure that they had good customer service. That's really important to me, a good um, selection of dresses. And then I would go to each individual website before I made the appointments and look at exactly what designers they carry and then I would go to those designers websites and look at all their dresses and see if I like them. That way I already kind of had an idea of what was going to be at each shop and I knew like okay it's not worth my time to go there, I don't like many of the dresses or I like everything they had, I really want to go there. So um, there was a few places I want to go, wanted to go to and then also I had a few recommendations from friends on different places that they went to. So I made my next appointment at Mimi's, which is in Ann Arbor. And I kind of had a feeling before we went there that I might find my dress there. I really liked the designers on their website um, and they seemed really nice when I talked to them over the phone. And they sold one designer in particular, which was Haley Page, and I really wanted to try on her dresses. They're very different and unique and I didn't think for a second that it would be the dress that I actually ended up going with, but I knew it was something I just had to try on. And they're the only um, shop in Michigan that carries her. So unfortunately, Mimi's did not allow a photo or video, but we went in, it was this cute little boutique. I really recommend shopping in boutique style bridal shops, not like at department stores or huge places where you don't need an appointment. Um, because you won't get that individual attention and customer service um, and you want it to feel special, you know? So I really felt that way there. They were very welcoming and very loving and caring and they really knew what they were talking about. They had a lot of experience there. So I told them, you know, my budget and exactly what kind of dress I was looking for. Um, and then we went and kind of looked at dresses together and I, you know, told her I wanted lace and mermaid and blah, blah, blah. And she, um, was like, I need you to have an open mind because I have to something totally different in mind for you. Um, so I kind of went with it and that's exactly what I wanted because um, like me and like I'm sure many of you guys that are brides, you only get married one time. So I know nothing about bridal dresses or what's going to look good on me or fit my body shape and all that. So I wanted someone that had more experience and more like expertise in that area than me telling me they already knew what was going to look good on me. So that made me feel really comfortable and um, really excited. I tried on a few of the dresses that I thought I liked and then I tried on the dresses that the consultant picked out for me 
and she knew exactly what she was talking about um, and I found my dress. I think it was the second one I tried on that day and it was perfect. I knew immediately when I put it on just the way that it made me feel. I just felt like a bride and it felt like me, like my real style in a dress. So it was totally different than what I had pictured in my mind and what I thought I was going to go for. So I didn't want to make the decision right away and just buy it right then because it was totally different than what I was expecting. So I slept on it. I definitely recommend you guys do that too. Even if you know it's the dress for you, just sleep on it. You know, the dress will be there in the morning. You have to order it anyways. Um, so I ended up having one more appointment already scheduled for that week. And I was contemplating canceling it, but I just thought, you know what, I might as well just go. I already have the appointment just to make sure I'm making the right decision. As soon as I walked in, I just got a bad feeling. I wasn't getting treated very well. The consultant was rude and she was in a hurry and being rushed and just didn't want to be there. And that's not the kind of feeling you want to have when you go to try on wedding dresses. So. I tried on two dresses and then I told her it just wasn't working out, I wanted to leave, I wasn't having any fun. So it's kind of hard to leave an appointment when you're expecting so much, but if you guys feel like you're just not going to find it there or if it doesn't feel right, you can just leave. And that worked out great for me. And I so that weekend I made another appointment at Mimi's and my mom and my dad and myself went down there. I tried on the dress one last time and we all agreed it was perfect. So I got my measurements, I picked out my veil and accessories and I ordered it. So I think overall the most important thing for me was to keep an open mind because obviously I ended up with something totally different that I never would have thought that I would get. Um, but I think that's important and I think it's going to be so... Um, surprising when everybody sees the dress. I also wanted to mention that when you're considering your budget, make sure you include like alterations and your veil and your shoes. I didn't think about that. I just thought like the price tag would say a certain amount and if that was in my budget, I could get it. But you don't realize those extra costs of like a thousand to two thousand dollars with all the extras. So definitely keep that in mind. Also, when you're going to the appointments, remember that you're going to be like changing the whole time. So you want to have the right undergarments on. I always wore like a strapless bra and then um, Spanx. You don't have to do that. Some places have it where you can wear, but I'd rather wear my own. So keep that in mind. You're going to be changing and also you're changing in front of someone too. Also, this was something really important for me. I wanted a dress that would be um, fun and easy to go to my party in and reception and dance and everything, but I also wanted something that was modest for um, the ceremony because we're having a full mass in our church. So I needed something that would work for both. I already told you guys it's important to sleep on it. Make sure you're making that right decision. Don't just jump into something. Try not to get overwhelmed. Like I said, what worked out for me was bringing my whole bridal party to that first appointment. But then the next appointments, I just brought my mom and sister and one bridesmaid. I kept it really small. That way I wasn't getting overwhelmed with too many opinions and pictures and all that. So, so another thing that's important to keep in mind that I didn't even think about was um, your heels or your shoes or whatever shoes you're going to be wearing on your wedding day. Um, it might be something to think about getting your shoes before you get the dress, um, even if you don't know exactly what the dress is going to look like, because when they order the dress they need to know like your exact measurement and how tall you're going to be on that day. They can always make a few alterations, but on my dress, if they were to alter too much on the bottom, it's going to change the look of the dress. So I kind of needed to know my heel height beforehand. So um, it was great that I was able to sleep on it and I had a few days in between appointments where I could go shoe shopping and I found a pair of shoes that worked out perfectly. So I went with three inch heels. I definitely recommend wearing heels. You walk different and you feel different. You feel more confident when you have heels on. So just a small heel, but a little something. So those are kind of my tips. I did want to mention one book that helps me a lot in this process. So this book I borrowed from a friend of mine and it's called It's All About the Dress by Randy Finoli. It's a huge book um, and I actually read this the night before my first appointment and it helped me learn a little bit about bridal gowns um, just so I knew what I was talking about a little bit more. Um, you can see I have some tabs up here of things I wanted to show you guys that were in this book. I told you guys earlier that it helped me a lot to have pictures on my phone. 
um, that I could just show the consultant because if you don't know too much about wedding dresses and bridal gowns and all that, it's hard to describe exactly what you're going for. Um, but this book, he listed a ton of words that would kind of help you express it to um, whoever's working with you and it helped me a lot. So I looked through this list and I actually just wrote down a few of the words. Um, that way I could kind of explain to the bridal consultant you know, the style of my wedding, the style of gown that I wanted, how I wanted to feel. For example, like they have classy, bohemian, angelic, edgy, dramatic, innocent, lacy, luxurious, retro, princess, sweet, sexy, simple, modest, all kinds of words to just help you describe the look that you're going for. So that helps me a lot. Um, and then it does have some information about like bridesmaids, um, dresses and the groom, his tuxedo and all that stuff. So it's a super helpful book. And then there's one last thing that I wanted to mention. So I do have a, um, like a wedding decorator and when I met with her she was saying like, have you found your dress yet? And this was a few months ago and I said no, but I know exactly what I want. And she said, I'm just letting you know when you find your dress, if it's not exactly what you're saying here, things are going to change. You're going to want to change the wedding up. You're going to want to get different flowers or different decor, blah, blah, blah. And I thought that sounded so silly. How could a dress change a whole wedding? But she proved me wrong and it definitely changed everything. I emailed her the next week and I was like, you are totally right. I want to change this. I want to change that. I need to change this color to this. So keep that in mind um, before you plan out everything. Have your dress um, because it changes a lot of things. It's changed literally how I think of our wedding and it went from being something where I wanted a really classic and really traditional um, glamorous wedding to now I want something still glamorous but more modern and more fresh which is more I think my style right now so keep that in mind also that your dress can dictate the whole wedding and what it's going to look like. I know it sounds weird but trust me it's totally true. Um, yes, I did find my dress. The designer is Haley Page. I don't want to share with you guys exactly the style yet. Um, you'll see, I'll post so many pictures on the day of and I'll post videos and all that. So you guys will definitely see that I want to keep it a surprise for now. Um, if you guys have any other advice or any requests for future Wedding Bells videos, leave it down below in a comment. And don't forget to thumbs this up if you want to see them more often. I try to do it once a month, but if you guys want to see them more than once a month, just give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!